we're embarking on new territory. As people have said, there's no analog for what's going on now. It's not happened before in human history. And so it's up to us to make that history a positive thing. What makes the difference beyond passion and people is the type of science we're doing and, and the belief in the scientific method that it can make a difference and that you are trying to solve a problem. At Point Blue, we are driven by our science and our scientists as they discover new findings about land use change, climate change, climate smart conservation, climate smart restoration, new ways of solving problems, new ways of working with partners. All of that drives how we envision what we can do in the future. 10 years from now, I have visions of tripling the number of healthy meadows we have in the Sierra Nevada, meadows that store more water, uh, longer into the season to provide wildlife habitat for a broad array of species. I feel really optimistic that 20 years from now, we can have a really vibrant natural world. The unique time series that we have, these long-term studies, like the Farallon program, that gives us incredible knowledge, incredible baseline to be able to track future changes to. Informatics, the science of information is tremendous. We're all using the same method, so we can actually combine those data sets and, and look at and answer questions that we could never look at before. We need to use this information to realize that we can't go forward status quo, assuming that the relationships that we've seen in the past still hold. That just isn't the case anymore. Our dialogue is now about creating a sustainable planet and how people interact with natural environments. And I think Point Blue's science is going to be really leading a path to evolving a sustainable planet. Our highest priority is to reduce the negative impacts of climate change, land use changes, meaning habitat loss and habitat degradation, and other pressures on nature caused by humans while promoting climate smart conservation and nature-based solutions. I think with Point Blue, we found a partner that had a lot of the similar interests that we did. It gave us the indication of what sort of things we needed to really focus on not only in terms of our wetland restoration, riparian restoration, native grasslands, you know, we had the opportunity to really make some changes on the landscape for the better. It's a very good feeling to know that you're providing habitat and a home for the wildlife while you're using their home for yourself. I hope it'll, it'll reap its rewards for my, my children maybe, or maybe even the following generation. But I suppose that's what drives us to do what we do to make this a healthier place for all of us. We're attempting to address everybody's concerns and everybody has a voice at the table. The rancher, the farmer, the family that's actually raising cattle on that ground or growing a crop on that ground, their voice is just as important as the biologist's voice and as the engineer's voice. And so we're really trying to create an opportunity for them to be involved with the science. We actually apply our bird observational skills to people. <laughs> we're very patient in general and we wait and we listen and we say, okay, what is this person really trying to communicate to me? And, and um, that's a huge part of who we are. It's a joy to work with Point Blue. The creativity, the scientific expertise has elevated our program, certainly, and continues to elevate our program, and they continue to work at an extremely high level. You want to see an organization that is filled with devoted, professional, competent people that are driven to their mission. I absolutely see that from the people and the organization at Point Blue. We really depend on Point Blue bringing their science to the sanctuary and partnering with us to do activities that we couldn't do otherwise. We've completed over 425 projects in the last 21 years with probably about 32,000 students, that's kindergarten through high school. We live for the health of ourselves and our, and our habitat and our wildlife and our people and solving problems together always tends to be a more sustainable and long-term solution to, to affecting change on our planet. What we're learning today is that while we may do the on the ground work locally, we have to consider everything that we do in terms of the entire biosphere, which really means the atmosphere and the ocean and the land all together. All of our research from the Sierra to the sea is connected. We realize that to achieve our mission of conserving birds, other wildlife and ecosystems, we had to make climate change front and center in the work that we do. And so, 
Over the past few years, we've worked with our board of directors and staff and outside experts to develop a new way of talking about what we do and a new way of reaching out to people. Point Blue. Our science and our scientists point the way, working in partnership with many others, towards a healthy future using birds and other indicators for a healthy planet, a healthy blue planet.